Hey sis. I'm back. It's me. Bupak back with another one. Back at you again with another one. I'm trying to get my thumbnail popping, honey. But anyways, y'all. Yes. Here by me. You know. If y'all want me to show y'all how I got this color, I can't because I, <laughs> I did it with box dye and you know when you just like fuck up so you just like, now you gotta like try to fix it. So then I put like another color on it to like try to fix the fuck up and I fucked it up even more. I just left it because it was like looking real rat like and like rat rat, like hood rat like. Shout out to all the hood rats. You girls keep me young. Oh, I love you so much. I put the brown in it and then I came back with the honey um honey blonde to do the work on it it's crazy how the Christmas tree up but like nobody's getting a present this year niggas I told niggas don't give me nothing but you know niggas want to give me something so cool like do you I ain't gonna stop you, but just know you ain't getting nothing. I would do it, you know. I, don't, I love to see my niggas happy. I wouldn't mind like spending money on them, but I just feel like I don't want to go broke. Nobody, definitely not for no made up holiday. Like it ain't even your birthday, my nigga. It's just Christmas. And you, nah, nah. So in here, you know, I got my holiday chair going. A little Bambi or whatever. Was Bambi a reindeer? I think he was. Was Bambi a woman? I think Bambi was a bitch. I don't know. Anyway, y'all. Just have to follow God's plan and his word. Sis, if he is giving you the signs that this nigga ain't shit, leave the nigga alone. Leave him alone. God did not send him. Leave him alone. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And I'm just here looking like a little, what did she say I look like? I'm just here looking like a little nutmeg. Not a nutmeg. What is it? What was it? Something. A little chestnut. That's what it was. So I'm looking like a chestnut. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I just wanted to talk to my young girls because, you know, too often we get involved with men who we have no business getting involved with and from the time we're young it's usually an older dude right because we all been there before where we thought that that was the way like oh he got a core he got a core bitch he got his own house <clears throat> you know he might have a kid but you don't care because you damn near a kid yourself like you know what i'm saying i play with your kid like ain't nothing you know i do this anyways <clears throat> you know, you might have little brothers or sisters or cousins or something. Like you, so you play with, you know, you around kids all the time anyway. So what is it to be fucking with this older nigga and he got, he got a kid or two, you know? I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there. <laughs> Not even realizing, like, he is taking advantage of you. And though, like, it's consensual because, you know, you're, you're, you're there. Like, nobody forced you to be there. You're there. But you don't even realize, like, how much of a predator this man is. He's preying on you. He know you don't know no better. He know you don't know no better. That's why he could. Listen. When I was younger. <laughs> I don't really even want to tell this story. But when I was younger. Um, <clears throat> this, this one older nigga that I was talking to. Oh, my God. Bruh. When I first met this nigga, first of all, I was walking home from school when I met this nigga. Predator. Walking home, I was in high school. This nigga says, I don't care if you don't care. <laughs> and bitch, we ain't care. We ain't care. But now looking back, I'm like, mm -mm. like, that's not cool. That's not cool. You know, I have a little niece and 
though she's just little now, like she's just a little girl now, but you know, like life go by like that. Is she's gonna be in high school very soon, and you know, I, it's just it boils my blood that like just to know that it's gonna be like some grown man out there that got his eye on her that's scary but now I'm totally regretful of the situation I won't even go into detail <laughs> about that honey you know when older people say like I bump my head well, my dad always say that like I bump my head enough you don't have to, so that you don't have to that's not facts because I'm a person, like I'm my own person, I have to experience things for myself, but like that's one thing that I'm like, <laughs> I mean, you should have listened, you should have listened to your first instinct because this nigga was just a headache. Yeah, you really gonna do what the fuck you wanna do, I can only say so much to you. It's just crazy. And I have to come and talk to y'all about that. And that's another thing. And this is kind of going off on a tangent. This video is just like... I'm pulling topics from everywhere, bitch. But they all relate. Trust. Now, some of y'all hoes might be mad that, I, that I'm even saying this. Because I ain't got no kids. Don't turn it off yet. <laughs> don't turn the video off. Yes, I don't have no kids. But let me just say, I am a kid. You know, I'm, I'm a child of somebody. So... I have, you know, some insight. I just feel like y'all leave y'all ch children in the dark about a lot of stuff. And then when they venture off, because they're human. Like you seem to think, some of y'all seem to think that y'all children are like baby dolls or something. And they only do what you tell them to do and stuff. Children have minds of their own. They're little people. Like you are a big person, you're an adult. This is a little human, sis. You can they have curious minds. You cannot just leave them in the dark about stuff. When they ask you a question, the proper answer is not because I told you so. Explain they might really just wanna know why they like why that don't even make no sense in my mind. Break it down for them, make it make sense for them. You know? Some of y'all don't need kids. Seriously, y'all don't have enough patience and stuff. And then y'all wonder why they have anxiety, why your children grow up with anxiety, why they have ADHD, why they, you know, just have a bunch of shit because you're not, you ain't loving on them the right way. Straight up. You're beating them for every little thing, like yelling at them for every little thing. And then you wonder why. They get in the world around other people, around other kids. They get in school. They get the after school program. And, you know, they might have social issues. And that could go either way. Either they're too shy to, to speak up for themselves and, and say what it is that they want in the presence of other people. Or, or now they acting out. They just, they cutting the fuck up at the after school profession. That gets on my motherfucking nerve when I see that. You know, I worked in a school for a little bit. And just to see, like, you know, some of those some of those kids, like, their home life was just like, ugh, I still think about, like, some of those kids to this day because, like, their home life was just so fucked up. So, and it's nothing you could do. Nothing you could do. You know, you want to, like, call CPS and report all of the stuff that they telling you and the stuff that you seeing with your own eyes. You know, believe me, I wanted to call CPS. And as my, what did they say, as, like, a mandated worker, or what I think they call it that, you know, you are obligated to, if you see something, to say something. But then, you know, I'm just a different type of person because I'm thinking, like, damn, if I call CPS, you know, if I call CPS, what the fuck is going to happen to this little girl or this little boy? That's supposed to be the solution, CPS? Them getting taken away from their family is the solution? I just feel like... It's better to be with your, with your parents and to be with your loved ones, you know? It's just fucked up, though, because they really did have fucked up home lives. Like, just 
foul shit, foul shit. I ain't gonna, you know, say none of it on camera or nothing, but and violate no HIPAA laws or nothing. And I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't be violating HIPAA laws if I did say it, because I'm not giving out names or anything, but I just don't even want to expose nobody's shit like that, like. And then when they get about 14, 15, and they seeking attention from men who they don't have no business seeking attention from. You wondering why. And you beating their ass now because they being grown. No, they're looking for attention and they went after the only thing that was going to give it to them. This grown man who knows that she don't know no better that she shouldn't be talking to him. I'm just trying to make it make sense for somebody. That's it. That's it. I ain't trying to ruffle no feathers. I'm just trying to make it make sense for somebody. No, y'all. I'm not just like trying to badger y'all, 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 y'all. We as people, as humans, who don't, a lot of us do not possess self-awareness. We don't possess that trait. A lot of us do not possess self-awareness, okay? So we do stuff. When the retaliation or the um, the reaction as a result of the action that we did comes back on us, it's like, oh, I, sis, sis, you need to open your eyes and get a better look at what the fuck you did, bitch. Never mind, I ain't even gonna go there because people really gonna be offended then, but I digress. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about um, everything. I don't even know like what I just went off on a tangent about, but I do know that it was, it needed to be said and that, um, you know, I hope it helps somebody. Really, you know, I said it was for the young girls, but I want everybody to watch it. I want a mother to see this and to, like, tell her daughter all of this because <coughs> because these are the things that, like, I've, I've seen, like, growing up, working in schools, we're at a school, um, just being around, like, young people, young girls and boys and stuff, like, it's sad the way you know a lot of them are like being treated we don't think that or think about that enough like how we treat each other let alone how we treat our children a lot of us do that and then you get mad if somebody else treats your child bad and make your child cry but you make them that you making the little motherfucker cry every day every day and then you're like oh mommy loves you though bitch where where and I'm not knocking people who beat their children I'm like no, I'm um burnt over 96 percent of my body I still got ass whoopings when I was a kid and not no little light tats either bitch where do I spoil a child you know but you also gotta love the baby too you gotta love when your kids but who am I who the fuck am I bitch <laughs> you, fuck you fuck you you're cool I'm giving you Nutmeg, nutcracker, spice. If he only knew what it means to be my man, my man, my baby. Doesn't it feel like Christmas? Doesn't it feel like Christmas? Wow. That's all, guys. Come back. Like, comment, share, get some discussion below, pop it. I love comments. I love to interact with people. If you see somebody leaving like a hate comment or something or saying something that's just like <laughs> not even baitable, it's not even facts, like just let them be. Let them be because another hater going to come along and like it and they going to have a discussion and then, you know, that's going to satisfy them. So let them be. I'm not going to delete it. You know, let them be. Yeah, come back for more, guys. I'm lying. If you are leaving a hate comment, I'm totally going to delete it. Like, I was just lying. I know I was playing around, but like, seriously, leave a comment. Let's have a discussion. Let's talk. You know, all that.
Ah, 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 all right. 